Hey, so what's going on guys? Matt here with Director Reviews and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing as well as a run through of the interface of the brand new Luffy XF. So this came out about five months ago, I guess around that. And personally on my Civic, I'm using the Luffy X1, which was the previous generation, but that was in Chinese version. So yeah, I, I don't read Chinese. So it was pretty hard to navigate through the interface, but I decided to pay a little bit more for this round and get the Luffy XF Revolution in English or international version. Um, I heard many many good things about this and in fact uh, so far I've been using the Luffy X1 It has never given me any issues. That's the reason I'm buying back Luffy because I trust the quality It works as advertised. It does the job and doesn't give any issues. Installation is very easy All you need to do is just plug it into the OBD2 port at the bottom of your dash uh, Depends on the car you're using of course and it's a very simple installation, one wire, no fancy, fancy wire harness on the dashboard. Just one wire and into the gauge. So it's very simple and clean setup. So the reason why I wanted to get the Luffy XF is because I wanted detailed information of the sensor readout uh, via the ECU. So getting a readout from the ECU definitely is more accurate uh, as compared to the older method where you like, for example, vacuum gauge, you have to install a smaller tube. Those. I think, in my opinion, uh, from my experience using those kind of gauges, they are not as accurate as reading out from the ECU itself. So the Luffy XF supports many car brands, Japanese, uh, Continental, or even local cars as well. So it's very good that even if I do change my car in the future, I can actually bring this OBD2 meter or reader over to my next car. So that's something that is future proof. So I don't mind spending a bit more to get a good one. All right, so uh, let's turn the camera around and I will give you the unboxing tour so you can see what comes in the package. So all right, let's get the unboxing started. All right guys, so right here I have the Luffy XF. You can see the packaging. This is an original Luffy XF by the way. So you can see how the original packaging looks like in this uh, very nice and clean packaging. So glossy packaging as well. So let's open the box and see what comes inside the packaging. All right, so you can see here there are two different boxes so we will go with the smaller one first all right let's see what comes inside this box all right so right here we have the cable so you can see right here this is the obd2 cable so this is the port where you'll be plugging in to the obd2 port underneath your dash all right so moving on let's see what else do we have okay we also have this uh micro sd card reader i bet it's, this is to update the software of the luffy yeah, do not quote me on that because i'm not really sure on that but uh, this is my very first time actually looking at this gauge so right here you have some mounting plates or you have one mounting plate almost dropped the nut right there let me put everything back so i do not lose anything else so right here you have the sticky base so this is going to be stuck to your dashboard or your windscreen depends on which orientation you want to mount the OBD2 meter. All right, right here you also have the back mounting plate for the meter, which I will show you in a second. So you also have an Allen key and some bolts and stuff like that. So pretty simple installation. Okay, let's go to the second box. Quickly get the second box right here. All right, so the second box we have the meter itself, that's about it. So you can see right here, this meter is in this nice uh, starch bag. All right, so here is the meter itself. It is pretty compact, I should say. Uh, it's definitely not too big because it's a very simple OBD2 meter. So this has uh, tons of customization inside this uh, as compared to conventional old school style uh, gauges. Right, so you can see right here, you get the multicolored LED light. I'm not sure whether the camera is picking this up. You can see right here, you get the Luffy XF logo right here. And then on the back, we get three different buttons. This is more tricky to navigate through the menu as compared with the Luffy X1. So that's something you do have to take into consideration when buying a gauge like this. But uh, it looks very clean on the front. So that's what I actually am going for, a very clean setup. So on the back, you can see the port. So this is for the indicator light. So if you did buy the option with the external shift light, you will definitely have to plug in through this indicator connector right here. So mine, I didn't buy that. I decided to go with the very simple setup. 
So because I think the front uh, LED lights are more than sufficient. So you can see right here, this is where the power cable plugs in. So you can see right here, just now the power cable. So it plugs directly in and it gives the meter power and the reader as well. So you can see right here, it's made in China. You can basically navigate through these three buttons. Very simple. And then you get the mounting plate. Much easier to install and take off than the Luffy X1. So that's something I do have to say. On the Luffy X1, you do have to fiddle with uh, some screws just to get it out. So I think this is a better setup. All right, so that's about it on the exterior. So let me plug this in and then we will go through the interface and I'll be right back. All right guys, so upon starting the car, you can see right here, this is actually the startup menu. So it's uh, honestly pretty self-explanatory. So there are different uh, explanations or tips on how to use this, how to connect the product and stuff like that, which is basically very simple. You can see right here. So okay, this is actually the ignition wire, just not the thin uh, black wire, that's actually the ignition wire. That's right here, because it's actually plugged in, it's, that's the length of the wire. So actually you do have to plug it into the ignition fuse. Alright, so basically this step will ensure that the, this gauge actually turns off when you turn off the ignition. So it's actually, uh, how to say, uh, it will actually tell the meter that the engine's off and then it needs to shut down instead of constantly running it throughout the, the time when the engine's off. So this will actually drain your battery, of course, very slowly, but it will definitely drain your battery. So this actually will be a very good step that you do have to take. All right, this is something, the do's and don'ts. So these are the don'ts. So you can see that they do not want it to block your vision. Of course, your line of sight when you're driving, this should not be blocking. So usually people put it at the side. So that will be something that I'll be doing. So these are the parameters of this gauge. So, all right, so you can update the system as well. All right, so holding the middle button on the back right here, this is the middle button. It will actually bring you to the actual gauge itself. So you can see this is the default one. Of course, this XF uh, logo right here, you can actually change it to the car model that you are using. So I can change it to Volkswagen, for example, because Volkswagen is the car I'm using now on the Sirocco. So you can see the speed. You can see the RPM. You can see that the voltage here. Of course, everything here is customizable. Everything is uh, actually can be customized to your liking. So that's something I do like about this gauge. So right here, you can see this is another version. So there are a couple of presets, something like watch faces, if you may say that. So there's something like that. So you can see if I do step on the throttle, you can see right here, the throttle actually moves. So very nice, you can see right here as well. Very smooth animation, uh, much smoother than the Luffy X1, that's for sure. So you can see water temperature, you can see the speed, you can see the clock. Of course, everything is uh, programmable. And this is the one with like the basic gauge, which I have set up on the Civic as well. So this was set up on my Luffy X1. Well, of course, I did customize the whole look of the menu. And basically, we are back to the original one. So you can see right here, very nice and uh, very simple to use, much better than the Chinese version, much better than the Luffy X1, that's for sure. They have actually went a long way and improved this. All right, so pressing the middle one, this is where you get the setup menu. You can see system setup, display setup. Then you can see the sequential LED setup. So you can see right here, you can actually change it and customize to the color that you want. You can even do it in RGB if you, if you wish. So you can see warning setup, you get time attack. So this is something I want to try out with the race chip I installed. I do want to check out how much uh, gains or how much faster my car reaches 100. So you can see this is actually, you can clear fault codes and stuff like that with this. So very, very simple. And then you can see user data setup and about product. So user manual as well. I think this is the same thing, yeah. So this is basically the same thing that we went through. All right, so let's go into the system setup. You can see right here, the units. Of course, we are in Malaysia, so we are using metric. So you can see it's in kilometers per hour and yeah, yada 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 as well as centigrade. All right, speed adjust. You can see right here, RPM adjust. You can see the manifold pressure, turbo inlet manifold pressure, voltage adjust, and then time loop. And then water warm up, fuel type, fuel consumption adjust. Uh, on the Civic, I did have to adjust some parameters, but I bet on this car, I do not have to. I do have to contact the seller regarding that. You can see speed for gear position, 
an hourly chime yeah, I don't think I need that mm, clock so you can set the time right here of course the time is out because I just plugged it in and it's brand new you can see system update you can see reset settings so basically that's it let's go back oh I just reset the settings but anyways I think that is more than adequate how do I go back do I hold it do I hold it Oh, I do have to hold it. Okay, hold the middle button to go back. So interesting. All right, display setup. This is where you get to set up your stuff that is on the, the screen just now. You can set up individual um, settings like your volt. You can change the volt to maybe oil temperature or something like that. You can even change this one to just say um, another logo. You can change even this dial to maybe your speed. It's up to you. It's very, very customizable. But of course, I'm not going to be meddling with it now but just to show you what it can do all right so display setup you can see item color so you can have like different different colors for different different items so there's something i like about it because this is a color display you can see this review peak value and reset peak value you have the dimmer so dimmer auto so there's a light sensor behind here which you can actually make use of you can see display brightness and then oil pressure warning you can do all this parameter setting so not too bad not too bad it's very very similar but uh, much 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 more refined okay this is the led setup you can see rpm shift how you want to shift you can see the basically everything is customizable you can see the indicator pattern you want it to run uh, to the right to the left or even all meet in the middle so mine is uh, to the right if i'm not mistaken on my x1 you can see right here so your sequence is in 200 increments 200 rpm increments on each light so yeah so basically that's it for the leds and then the color you can customize to a color that you even want so you can see right here we can actually change the direction so overall very nice uh very similar much better warning setup you can see right here this is the warning setup so you can see the rpm you can see the speed can see the voltage you can see water temperature and so on and so forth so this will actually give you the max value so you can actually set the max one so in case it does overheat they're saying the water temperature is over the limit this will actually warn you and start beeping trust me it is super annoying but i mean why not just for safety's sake um, oil pressure fuel pressure i bet i will leave all that to the same thing and then you get this also because there are many uh, cars with the uh, cvt gearbox you do have a CVT fluid temperature. I'm not sure every car has the sensor for the temperature, but uh, I'm not sure whether the Civic will be able to read this, but it is what it is. I will not be meddling with the Civic one because I already got it all wired up. All right, so that's about it. And then you get time attack, zero to 100, zero to 200, you can set that up. And this is something I'll be testing out later on. I'm very interested. And then you can see, you can clear all your errors because i do have some errors on my car so this can actually clear it off so it's pretty good all right so basically other setup let's see what this is power off mode auto can we change this manual auto i guess we just leave it to auto first sleep when auto off and then basically that's about it so basically very very good and i'm liking the interface uh, i think the interface is very easy to understand of course these buttons are a little bit fiddly compared to the four button setup on the luffy x1 but uh considering that this goes for 300 to 350 ringgit i mean for an all one gauge i mean i wouldn't complain and this can be carried forward to many many other cars with the obd2 port as well so it is future proof and um, something that I would definitely recommend to many car owners out there, those people who do want to find out what's going on with their cars and get an ECU readout as well as clear the fault code. So definitely I'll recommend this. I do like this gauge and I've been looking forward to actually getting one. So finally I have the chance to actually own one of these. I'm actually very, very happy. And I can't wait to get it installed and wired up. All right, so this concludes my video. Hope you guys like it. If you did like it, do hit that thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. And I'll probably give an update on this uh, as I use it a couple of days at least so I can get a rough idea and the quirks that definitely these kind of gauges have. Alright, so thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.